Hockey is the sister company to FA Skateboards and was created by Jason Dill and Anthony Van Anglin, aka Ave. These boards along with the FA boards are distributed by BBS, which is Bareback Systems Woodshop, and that's pretty much the number one woodshop in the game right now. It seems like all of the top companies are coming from BBS these days. So I've personally never tried a hockey board before, but I've heard a lot of good things about them and I've heard a lot of bad things about them. So I feel like it's 50-50 in the skate industry. People either love hockey boards or they hate them. The reason I've never been able to try them is because I ride an 8.75 board and it's really hard to come across an 875 in an FA or a hockey board. But for my birthday last week, my homies Coupe and Sean hooked me up with this 875 hockey board. So I'm super keen to test this out. So hockey boards are pretty famous for their big square shovel nose. A lot of people don't like that, but a lot of people love that. So it's common for boards to have a bigger nose than the tail, but it's so much steeper and so much bigger. And that's pretty much what they're known for. So I think the biggest controversy about hockey and FA boards is the price of them. This board retailed at $160. An average price of a board is like 120 to 140 in the normal skate shop and there's absolutely nothing special about this board like there's no carbon fiber it's not a pro model it's just a basic hockey board and this is one of the cheaper ones I've seen some of the FA boards at $200 so at what point is it that the skateboard is actually better and worth the money or is it just the brand like you're paying for the brand and that's what I'm going to test out today are hockey or FA boards worth the money that you pay because I snap a lot of boards I'm not going to be spending $160 on a board every one or two weeks so I'm glad the homies got this for my birthday but I'm going to put it through all the tests I want to do today to see if it's actually worth your money so I want to test the overall board feel and the pop. The pop should be fine on the tail, but I want to test how my nollies and switch up. I want to see how my nose slide and crooked grinds go because there's a whole lot of nose. Obviously, I want to test the strength of the board, so I'll go through a few lip slides on some flat bars and see how the strength of the middle is. And then there's a six stair at the skate park I'm going to, so I'll do a few ollies down that and feel what the impact's like on these boards and if it can handle my impact. Then I need to finish with some flip tricks. So this is very steep concave. It's got a big nose, so when I'm flicking my tricks, I don't know if that's going to make a big difference compared to the boards I usually ride, but I want to test out how this board flips too. So I'm super keen to try my first hockey board. I'm going to set it up, go to the skate park right now, and then let you guys know if it's worth the money or if you're just paying for the brand. So let's head to the park. First impressions, super good. This board actually feels amazing. Super stiff and rigid. The concave is perfect. The nose doesn't feel too big, but it looks huge. It was weird just to look down at my feet and get used to that. But yeah, it's feeling really good so far. So I'm gonna keep skating, and get into all those tests right now.
All right, I'm super impressed from this board. First hockey board ever, and it actually was such a good board to skate. First of all, the concave was really nice. Nice steep kicks, I like the feel of that. The deep concave in the board too, so that's exactly how I like my boards to feel. So board feel was great, pop was great. The only downfall that I had was because the nose is so steep and big, my nolly crooks and my nolly nose slides, I was kind of missing the pop a bit on it because the nose sits higher, so as I'm popping the nose, it takes a longer time for the nose to hit the ground. So I had to pop harder because it had to be at a higher position. Had to get used to the timing of the nose, but that's only because it's a different board. I wouldn't say that's a negative on this board, it's just because it's different. I'm not very good at kick flips as it is, but because of the deep concave going this way and the big nose, the way I flick it, I go off the tip. You can actually see, I don't know if you can see that, you can see where my shoes made the marks there from my kick flips. So the way I go up off the nose, it felt really good to get like a big, deep, a lot of grip on the flick as I was flicking it. So kick flips felt good, the tray flip felt good. When it comes to skating rails, all of the tests I do, I do a lot of front lips and a lot of back lips when I want to test the strength of a board. This board didn't flex at all when I was doing front lips because they're the tricks that I ollie up over and I come down hard on the rail. So my boards usually crack or snap that way or at least flex that way. And there was no flex at all. This felt really stiff, really rigid. So I was impressed with the way this held up. And when I was ollieing down the stairs, I felt no flex of the tails or anything. The impact felt good. It's really stiff, really solid. So I don't think it's going to be easy to break one of these hockey boards. If I had to compare, I would say it felt stiffer than the anti-hero boards. When it comes to dwindle boards like Madness, Enjoy, Blind and all that, they feel a lot stiffer than this. I felt the slightest flex on this board, like there was a little bit of give, but when it comes to those dwindle boards, I feel like they're just fully straight, fully solid, so they don't bend or flex at all. And sometimes that's a downfall because having such a hard, rigid board, they're easier to snap because it's just really stiff. So I'd say the stiffness of this wood is in between like a deluxe board, which is anti-hero crooked and real, and then the dwindle boards too, like this one's right in the middle there. So really good place to be for this board. So in saying all that, this board retailed at $160 Australian. Anti-hero boards are 140 and then Enjoy and Madness boards are like 120. So is it worth the extra money? I would say it depends on you. If you want to ride a hockey board and you like that brand, then the extra $20, it might be worth it to you. The way that the board felt, like it skated really well, but I don't think it was any better than what an anti-hero board is that I've been riding. Like that's my favorite brand to ride. So if I did come up with another choice between another hockey 8.75 or the anti-hero 8.75, I'll definitely go towards anti-hero because it's just always a safe bet going with anti-hero. Good shape, good feel, good concave. They last long. I don't want to spend an extra $20 for nothing. Like you're paying an extra $20 for that right there, just the brand. There's nothing extra or any different besides the big square tails and noses. If that's what you like, if you like the shovel nose, then that $20 might be worth it for you or if you wanna rep hockey and you really like that company. Otherwise, there's not much more going on for this board. As much as I liked it, I'm gonna keep skating this. I really like it, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy a $160 skateboard, especially the way that I snapped them. This feels really good right now, but I could snap this within a week or two, so it's not gonna be worth the money for me. So a really good board, really impressed. Like if I happen to come across another one and I can get it a bit cheaper, I'm just I'm lucky the boys bought me this for my birthday because I wouldn't spend $160 on a deck But if somewhere another 875 comes in my path for a cheaper price I'll definitely get it But it's up to you guys whether you want to spend that extra $20 for the shovel nose or to wrap the hockey brand So if you like this video check out my most recent deck review video right here It's a madness impact light board. So that's from dwindle That's really hard wood and that had a carbon fiber inlay in the top layer Let me know which board you want to see me review next and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace